Hello everybody! We're continuing on with our Kingdom Death Monster like we promised. And we will also be getting to Shadows of Brimstone too. Uh, within the next couple days hopefully. And get everything continued there. As we continue to discover more things and try to find time to put, bring stuff in. Um, um, if you remember last time we finished, uh, we finished our battle. We did our settlement phase. We did our very first hunt. And now we are facing the lion. So taking on the lion this time, uh, we had to leave one of our people behind uh, in this one because he decided to find himself and be fascinated with the, the lanterns. So we left him behind and we had to create a new uh, guy, Joe, who pretty much may just be the victim here today. We hope not. We hope not. We hope to keep him around for a bit. So let's go to our cameras. Uh, as you can see, we have some terrain here, and um, this is a um, a toppled pillar. Well, let me move this out of the way. There we go. A toppled pillar, um, and what it is is an impassable, and it blocks the survivor and monster's field of view, so he can't throw anything at the monster from there. VTP, how you doing, bro? Uh, over here we have tall grass um, that is going to give us uh, plus two evasion so it's going to be a little harder to hit us uh, and it, if we go into the grass and disappear into it um, we kind of don't become a priority unless uh, we want the monster to come after us and then finally way over here very quickly uh, this token right here is actually a survivor's corpse. Uh, we may want to find that because we're going to roll on to a chart and, well, I'll be honest, we'll scavenge it and then we'll roll a D10 and we'll see what happens. But I think our main thing is to take out this guy right here, hopefully, and uh, survive this uh, if we possibly can. So, as you know... Uh, Hopefully I remember how to play this. I keep I don't know why I forget these rules so easily. <laughs> it's, uh, maybe it's old age more than anything else. I've got everything in front of me. Um, what I did, though, is I used these charts here, uh, which I really, really, really like. And let me go to the above camera here just to kind of show you. Uh, these are good because I, I, I put them on both sides. So I can just kind of... I'll do one, then do the other, depending on such and um, able to fill all the information that we need and just not kind of stop the clutter of paper all over the place, um, which kind of helps. So everybody's pretty jacked up. Um, Rob has a, which is me, uh, has a skull helm and a bone ax. Uh, I can't wait to see how that works. And we have a founding stone, which, uh, which is going to help us. Joe, he's kind of new to the whole thing. Uh, he's got nothing to protect him except for his waist, and he has a founding stone. So he's got to choose when he uses that very wisely. Tina has a bone dagger and a, a rawhide vest, uh, which is going to help her with her body and her waist. And um, hopefully she could absorb a little damage, which would be nice. And then finally, Anna has a bone blade and a raw vest. And that, too, will help her out a little bit as we're trying to get a little bit stronger and, 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 and build up as we go. Now, last time, the AI deck was set a certain way. And uh, just to kind of... Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, the AI deck was uh, um, set a certain way. This time, we, we are fighting a level one lion. So uh, instead of that, we took seven basic cards, three... Um, advanced cards and mixed it all together so we don't know what we got coming at us this time so it's a little bit different and then um he still has a move of six but this time instead of a toughness of six which was tough enough as it was he has a toughness of eight so it's going to be a little bit har harder we've got better weapons but it's going to be harder to take the old boy out all right, so let's see how, how we uh, make out here. So um, we're going to start right off. So let's. I'm going to draw a card here, and uh, it is Claw. 
Uh, pick target. Closest threat facing in range. Well, you can't see him. Everybody's six away. Well, he's actually supposed to be here. Uh, closest threat in field view. Well, I would say his field view is anywhere here. He can pick anybody here. Um, I'm going to pick... I'm going to have him come after me. And by doing that, I'm going to gain... Oh, matter of fact, um, let me get a paper towel very quickly here. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me a little bit of insanity because i got to be stupid to have the tiger come after me, right? Uh, so we're at an insanity too. And plus, if I take any headshots, I'm, I'm really in pretty good shape. So I'm going to wipe that off. And then we are going to go up to insanity three. Now, I'm now criminally insane, which is, which is good in this game and bad in some ways. But I am going to call this lion out and say, bro, I'm over here. So let's see how he does. He's going to come over to me and he's going to attack me. So let's see. Uh, he's going to go uh, one, two, three four five and then six how is that possible one two three four oh i did that wrong hold on i set this up wrong i can only be okay yeah so he'll come right here and these two girls we can we have to be six away so i'm i'm in this this um tall grass I actually put that put that wrong sorry uh, let's see and actually it's supposed to be a little bit no no it's right I, it's this one that was wrong okay so anyways let me just move this over here because I actually did this wrong but now it's right there we go so he's right there he sees me and he's gonna come at me all right uh, so the grass has one thing. It's going to give me plus two evasion. Okay. So that means he's going to have to roll two dice and he's going to have to try to hit me at fours, which, oh boy, we really don't need. We really don't need. All right. Let's see what happens. Come on. Roll a couple of ones, uh, a two and a four. So he hits me once. Wow. That was lucky. Um, okay. And he does one damage. So we're going to roll on the die here. And it's, it's a head damage. So this is one thing that I really don't mind taking because, um, I do have a protection of three onto my head, but I can use my insanity to block, uh, uh, uh any kind of brain damage. So that's good. That can help. If I'm, I'm pretty correct. If anything, I, I just remove a head later on. But, okay, yeah. So, let's move that. So, just when I get some insanity, I lose some insanity. Boom. Just like that. All right. So, now we're down to two. And again, if I, I got, I'll, I'll double check it later, but I got three head damage, which I should be fine with. Um... So that was pretty good. We got out of that okay, which is good. So this card gets discarded, which is glorious. So now we've got to start thinking what we want to do here. Well, and let's get him right into the right area there. Let's see. Maybe we should start out with the girls and see what they can do with uh, with with their their unbelievable blades. Um, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is a tough tough decision. Do we go here or do we go here first? Well, the bone dagger gets three dice and it's seven plus to hit. Hmm. All right, and then but the bone blade does too. Uh, the axe gets two, but needs a six plus, but because of our, our strength, hmm, 
And then I got the flow of everything here, so we can just make sure that we do everything correctly here. Collision, no, 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 no. Survivor rules, attack, perform search, that. All right, so if we get behind him, I think, so I think I'm gonna roll with, let's go with, with Tina who has the bone dagger. All right, so Tina who, yeah, let's, is that Tina? Yeah, that's Tina. She's going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, she's got a base of five. So she can't get behind him. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Because you can't go diagonally. But the bone blade will be fine too, because that'll give us a plus one. All right, let's 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 go with her first. One, two, three, four. Well, no, I think we're gonna go with Anna first, because she can get there. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that'll work. One, two, three, four, five. Because that's going to do a lot of damage if we can hit with it. Okay, so she's going to roll two dice. She needs, because she's behind, she gets a plus six. And because she's behind, it's a minus one into its blind spot. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to roll two dice here. It's two dice, and we need fives. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, we got a nine and a two. Oh, that stinks. All right, so we hit for one, and um, what we're going to do is turn over one card, and let's see what it does. Okay, one. You clip the, t it's a, the beast's heel. You clip the tense muscle of the heel. Okay, so we're going to roll, and she has two strength to add to that to her roll. So she needs an eight, but actually she needs a six. Come on. Come on. Ugh, nothing. It's a complete and utter miss. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we missed and did not hit there. All right. So he, so she can come one, two, three, four, five, right there. All right. So now she's gonna go. So Tina's gonna go this time. Right now we're we're not doing anything to the big fella here. Uh, and she's got three dice. And she needs sixes on these three dice. Come on. Give us a break here. Make sure you check the bottom black bar of the terrain card for... Se yeah, I did. And that's where I messed up. And that's why I fixed it. Oh, boy. There we go. And... Uh, that's two hits. That's going to be two hits. Uh, that one does not hit. Boy, that would have worked last time. So now we are going to roll... And this only gives one strength. So we need a good hit here. We need it. Oh, so we got two hits. And we can roll them in any order that we want. Okay, so that's. Hmm. A, de a debilitating blow to the soft belly. So what we have here, okay. <clears throat> Debilitating blow to the soft belly. Critical. Gain one white lion resource. Persistent energy or organ entrail. If we can hit the critical. We're not going to worry about the critical right now. Uh, fuzzy groin. You can hit them in the, the privates. 
Okay, you hit him there. All right. Um, all right, let's go with this one first. So let's see if we can get it. We need, we need a seven. We get a four, so that's a miss. That's awesome. Another, another awesome, oops. Another awesome miss. Come on. Four. Oh, God, we're not hitting anything today. It's ridiculous. All right. Hmm. Well, now it's my turn. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to just come to the side of them. And hopefully I can I can do enough. Uh, spend an action. Uh, no, okay. Once per attack, if you critically wound, cause an additional wound. This effect this effect does not apply to impervious hit locations. Okay, so we're gonna roll two dice. Let's see what we get here. Oops. Ah, right, we got two hits. Perfect. 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 So what do we got here? One, two, three, four. Okay. And we're going to draw two locations here. And the first one is going to be Beast Knees. You hit the white lion's sturdy kneecap. The white lion's kneecap naturally uh, twists and shatters. Okay. And uh, White Lion gains minus one movement token. So that's a good one. And this one is Strained Neck. Uh, critical Wound Table. Okay, so if we hit a Critical Wound, which would be good, then we would roll on this table to see if we get him. Uh, strike at the Monster's Throat. Okay, let's see how that works. Which one do I want to do first? All right, let's do the beast's knees. Let's see what happens here. And we're going to roll. And that's a seven. That's a hit because it is minus, minus three on attack. Okay, great. So we hit him. And that's going to be perfect so that's going to take one ai card finally we got something out of here uh we'll just put that into wound stack there perfect all right the next thing that we're going to roll okay so now that this one's done we'll put this one here uh let's see if we can hit this here and yes we hit again it's a critical though all right so we got a critical now we're going to have to roll to see if we can get on the critical chart. All right. Let's, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> critical. Perfect. So what happens? <laughs> Crush windpipe. The monster cannot breathe. It dies at the end of the next monster turn. Okay, so that's perfect. So let's get so we lose another card there. So now we're just trying to just mess it up as much as humanly possible. This stays in play. While a monster is knocked down, all reactions are canceled and all hit rolls succeed on a 3 plus. He didn't get knocked down though. Oh wow, that was that was pretty lucky. All right, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. All right, and we're going to bring him over here. God, I wanted to get him to go here. So we're going to throw, we're going to throw a founding stone. And it's going to do a critical right off the bat. So let's do that. Let's see if we get anything good here. Blow lands on the monster leg. Critical wound. You bruise the white, because it's an automatic hit, but this goes away. You bruise the white lion's femur, crippling its graceful movement. The white lion gains minus one movement, gain one white lion resource. Okay, so we will 
shuffle this up. I see even the dogs say, wow, really? All right, so. So we're gonna get one of those. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's something really good. <laughs> we got uh, the Lions private parts. Uh, organ and consumable. Organs are very important. All right, so we get rid of this. This goes back to the box. All right. Perfect. So now that we hit that, we also get rid of another card. Yeah, okay, so that goes. And now it's the lion's turn. So hopefully we can survive this and not get too chewed up here. Hey, Martin, how are you? All right, so we're going to turn this over while the dogs are barking like it. Size up. Random threat in field view. Okay. Uh, intimidate target. The monster stared down its prey and turns to face target and rolls 1d10. On a result of 4 plus, the target suffers 1 brain damage per monster level and is knocked down. Oof. Okay, so, um, random threat. 1, 2, 3. So, 4. So let's roll. All right, so we're going to roll a d6 minus one. Uh, one, so uh, that would be one. So it's me. So he's going to turn to me. He stares me down. I'm looking a little worried here. Uh, one, he does not do a four plus, so I'm fine. I do not suffer any brain damage, which is perfect. And I'm um, okay. So, what does this card say? Wow, th this was luck. While a monster... Okay, crush wind pop. The monster cannot breathe. It dies at the end of the next monster turn. So, that was the next monster turn. So, he actually dies. Awesome. So, now, we each... Because we all survived, we each get one resource each, I believe. One, two three four and then we get one of these each if I'm not too sure all right so we'll put those up there let me double check in the the manual here wow that was some lucky 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 rolls I never get lucky like that all right so let's see um at the end of okay finish so down each round continues into the if if the white lion has no ai cards if no ai cards blah 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 basic action instead of drawing an ai card the next one okay count how do we kill it survivors perish survivors prevail if the white lion is killed the remaining survivors are victorious in the after month the player should first uh fill the first unfilled box of HP section of the survivor record sheet and it reflects their first successful okay rewards okay take four draw four of them shuffle draw four shuffle draw four place all resources face up on the table if the players lost their first survivor okay nope 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 so we're good there so now that we suffer we we survived that well, not bad. A half hour. Can you still check the remains? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to check those in a minute. Uh, the first thing that we do is we mark off mark off an HP for each, and then we're going to read. We have to read the age for that, and well, we we will do that next time because next time we're going to do the whole survivor phase. And then we will do an entire. Okay, Hunt. That was some lucky rolls. He gets one, so that doesn't mean anything to Joe. Joe survived, but Joe used his founding stone. But he was able to get us an extra resource. 
for our, our community. So we're going to mark that off. All right. The other thing that we have to do is Sea Haven here. We got to mark off some things here. So now that we went on our second hunt in year two, we're going to have to read Endless Scream. Maybe I'll do that real quick. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right. So first of all, we got his you-know-what. Okay. Uh, we got some white fur, which is hide. We got golden whiskers, which is um, organs. That's great. Uh, we got some sinew, which is more organs. Boy, we got a lot of organs. Uh, we got the great cat's bone, which can help us out a lot. We got some hide, which can help. We got some more organs, which are consumable if you consume this. Love juice. During the settlement phase, you may archive this uh, to intimacy. Uh, nominate survivors must be able to consume. Okay, well, we'll see if we want to. Oh, we got two of them. All right, so we've got some good stuff. Plus, we had some stuff left over from, from last hunt. So it's going to be interesting to see what we can do with that. Let's go. I, I, I think it's in the book. All right, let me grab the book here. And we'll come up top here. Because Endless Screams. We're going to have to read that. Is it in the book? Game over. Age, 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 age. Okay. Alright, hold on. Did it mean age, age, or age, age? I can't. I still can't believe that that roll. I can't believe I got lucky enough to survive that roll. That could be good. It could be bad too. Um, quick things like that. All right. I think it might do in the cards. Wow! What a lucky shot. Um, Showed a butcher. Let's see the truth. There's the butcher, the hand, the kingsman. I put the butcher together. I've got to put together some more guys. I'm gonna thank Soul Razor for sending us a bunch of those things so we can we can get going with that. Okay, white lion. Survivor, tall grass. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I did that right. I did that right. Okay, level two, we would get six white lion resources. So we need we need to kind of close the door on this dude. But he gets nastier in the next one. All right, I think the cards are in here. And I think I read from these. Could be wrong. Okay, this is all our stuff from last time that we still have left over. And our settlement phase. Okay, let me just check something here. I want to make sure that we, we do this right. Ah, okay, first day. And read the first. All right. Unbelievable. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so these are, okay. All right. Yeah, so it's actually something in the book I have to read. So, returning survivors, and then we have to read Endless Screams. That can't. That does not sound good at all. Not at all. 
Uh, okay, there's that. Survival guide. Alright. Because I'm curious what happens next. I'm sure it's nothing good. Hit locations. Proxy cards. Monster events. Resources. Terrain. Hunt phase. We did that. Showdown phase. We did that. There's a lot to this, I'll tell you. There is a lot to this. But this is... This has to be one of the glo most glorious games ever made. Alright. There we go. Waste body, that's severe injury. Brain trauma. We are lucky. This is the second hunt that we just got really, really lucky. Alright, let me just get by these things. Age. Okay. To improve reflexes. Okay, so when we go up to second one, it's age. Okay, improve the years have okay, year one. Weapon proficiency. Gain the benefit for the hunt. XP milestone you've reached. A survivor may only gain each milestone benefit once a lifetime. So we've got two for him. The years roll on. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Armored strangers. Bold. But the, we want to go to screaming... Endless screams. Okay, now I'm going to read this. All right. Yeah, because that's what happens. Right before the settlement erupts into chaos. Trying to comprehend the source of the terrible whale. You may now hunt the screaming antelope. Add it to your quarry list on the settlement record sheet. Nominate a single survivor to stand amidst the madness. They gain plus one courage and become the voice of reason. Okay, so this is something I'll have to roll on during that thing. And then the age. When you get plus one HP, I should have rolled on a chart that I didn't roll on. So I want to make sure that I do that next time that we come back. All right, so let me put a marker there. And we have to roll on weapon proficiency. For each character, a survivor may only... Okay, yeah. And then we have to roll on improved reflexes. So I think that's for each person that has hit that level. So there we go. Wow. That was some some unbelievable luck with that. With that. I, I still can't believe that roll. And things weren't going good. We couldn't we couldn't penetrate anything. And then I rolled two tens in a row. Whew. And we come out of this unscathed. So Joe actually levels up. He's a little behind. But I, if we can get him the right type of stuff, he might be valuable. And we can leave uh, the other guy staring at the lights like uh, he, he was. All right. So the next next week when we come back to this, we're going to do all three phases. So we're going to do our settlement phase. We're going to do our hunt phase. And then we are actually going to go into a level two lion. And once we do that, then I'm going to start looking at possibly going after that screaming antelope and see what we could do. But we really want to kind of get a good set of armor before we start playing around with him because the butcher's coming up. And I know the butcher is really, really tough. I got him all painted up. I got the antelope all painted up. Uh, we're going to start working on some things. We'll do some videos of that as well. We also got to fit in some stuff with uh, Forbidden Fortress. Uh, we got to take. We got to go one more thing with Forbidden Fortress, and then um, from Forbidden Fortress, uh, we're going to go back to 
Ancient, uh, no, it's not not Swamp of Dense. Yeah, uh, we're going to go back to Ancients with Tuco and uh, um, the Drifter, and we'll move on from there. It was a Vorpal sword moment. It sure was. It sure was. a matter of fact, this was so quick. I might leave this out, and depend if I have time in the morning, we might do this again tomorrow morning. Who knows? Uh, my sci-fi version of the Drifter is nearing completion. Very cool. The event book is almost done, and it... And it is almost double the size of the Drifter, around a hundred thousand words. It's substantial. Wow! I can't. I can't wait to get my hands on that. I can't wait for that. Whew. That was something else. That uh, Drifter's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to to do a sci-fi version of it. All right. Wow. Uh, kind of uneventful, but sometimes that's the way things happen, and you get get a little lucky. But this lion took a beating. I mean, it was a lucky beat. It was a lucky beat because I'll be honest with you, if I didn't get that lucky shot in with him, we were going to get we were going to we were going to get chewed up because this was going to be a long drawn out battle. The other thing I missed out was uh, going through the survivor's cor uh, um, corpse, which could have gave us some benefits. So that was useless out there. So everything just kind of went a, a, a very strange way. What can I tell you? It's just the way it happens. All right, folks. That's about it for your old pal, Rob. We will definitely uh, check with you uh, very, very soon. We've got more stuff coming up. Boy, do we have a lot of stuff coming in that you guys are going to like. Um, yeah, I got hit with a lot of stuff, so we're going to be doing a lot of things. You are looking and sounding very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel a lot better. Uh, a, a, a lot better and starting to really come around. So... I don't know what to tell you. It was such a, a short and uneventful hunt. But you know something? It stays within my realm of keeping things under an hour, which is pretty cool. We would have got we would have got we would have gotten mauled. We would have got mauled. I got a feeling. As a matter of fact, taking this lion on in this next one, I think we're gonna have a real tough time unless we can build some really good stuff out of the things that we got here. But we'll do that. We're all going to do that all in one shot. I'm going to I'm going to go for a two hour video to kind of make up for this one. So uh, I can't do it Tuesday. Monday is going to be a little weird. I'm going to say next Thursday we're going to do this again and we will do this all in one shot. Uh, we'll start a little earlier and we'll give it a go. Or I might do it tomorrow if I have time because I think the girls are going to go get their nails done, which takes three hours. Yeah, go figure that one out, right? Uh, okay, I think I covered everything. Guys, thanks so much. And uh, as always, it's always a pleasure to have you here. This was this was completely uneventful, but it does help progress the story. Sometimes you get lucky, and boy, that was that was one lucky shot. What can I tell you? It's the way it falls sometimes. All right, guys, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. 